Hey pros and gems, welcome back to our channel. I'm so excited you guys are joining me for yet another video. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about two fragrances that I have really been enjoying here recently and give you a tidbit of a, I guess, a story time. So, as you can tell by the title, I'm talking about YSL. And I initially picked up one fragrance thinking I was picking up the other. And this one has a more silver logo and this one is black. But depending on how you hold it, this one may reflect black, but it's actually silver. Now, I always get them mixed up and I knew when I went into the store to purchase them, I was going to get them mixed up again. And that's exactly what I did when I went in the store. I went to only get one and I didn't get the one that I thought I was supposed to have gotten. Went back, got the other one. Loved them both and decided to keep them. So, I'm excited to add them to my collection of fragrances. And I wanted to give you guys a review. So, if you're in the market for fragrances, these are like two, not really new to the market. Because I think they've been out for a while. But they're two fragrances that I think you guys will absolutely love. I think they're beautiful. And I think that they can be utilized for all occasions. So, the first one we're going to start out with. I'm going to make sure I'm picking up the right one. I'm on Paris. Okay. So, I'm going to make sure I have to look at the package. I have to look at the bag. I have to look at everything. And I know I didn't really do kind of like a full out intro, which I'm kind of getting over that. But if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell so you're notified of future videos. Leave me a comment below so we can interact. And, you know, share my video if you think that, you know, you want someone else to know about uh, fragrances, what's the, you know, fragrance to go to this, uh, spring, upcoming spring season, and, you know, it give them an idea of what they may or may not be missing with regards to adding fragrances to their collection. So, the Mon Patteries, which is the one that is, um, in the black packaging, um, well, both of them package are the same, but I mean the actual logo of the word. That part there is actually, um, black. <clears throat> Make sure you guys can actually see. Okay. So, this is in the biggest ounce that they sell. Both of them are in the biggest ounce that um, you can purchase these in. And this one is... Yeah, this one was the one that I initially think I purchased. But I think this one wasn't the one I was looking for. But I fell so in love with it. I love... Oh... The, the smell is so refreshing. Even when I go in Ulta, I feel like this is what I'm smelling when I go in Ulta. Every time I visit Ulta, I always think, like, that's why when I got home, I wasn't sure that I had received the right one or picked up the right one. Um, because the even the bowls are similar, but they have, like, this one has the polka dot and the other one is solid black. So, I think that kind of will help you out with um, differentiating between the two. But this is the Mon Patteris. And this one has white musk, peony accord, I guess that's how you say it. So, those are like their top notes that they have in here to make this one kind of like stand out. The Both of them have the same, again, packaging, which, which will confuse any consumer who is in the market for this fragrance. But I think that if you add both of them, <laughs> both of them to your collection, I don't think you would really even regret it. I think you would really like it. A little goes a long way with this fragrance. It's so innocent. I think this is kind of like the most innocent fragrance that I have in my collection. It just smells so refreshing and welcoming. It's 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 your corporate, classy, everyday girl type of fragrance. This is a fragrance that I probably will almost always want to have in my collection and that I will continue to purchase as long as they carry it. I take my time with using it. I don't run through it like I do my Ralph Lauren. You guys know. I mean, I wear that one almost like all the time. Because I just love it. I mean, I don't care what anybody else feels about the fragrance. I love that particular fragrance. This one is quickly becoming my... Well, these two are quickly becoming my favorites. Slowly but surely. I mean, of course, I like them enough to have them in my fragrance collection. But I'm really, 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 really starting to 
like um choose these over my other fragrances which i have yet to do an individual review on but i will get that out for you guys um whenever i wore this i got compliments everywhere i went wow what is that you're wearing and so forth and so forth kind of almost to like the compliments that i get for the ralph lauren now don't get it twisted it's an eye catcher i well a nose catcher because people smell the fragrance rather than see it but it's definitely something for people to take note of that you're wearing i really like it because it gives you that i don't know once you get dressed and you smell it it kind of puts you in a mood to be sassy for the day so if you guys like to play with different types of scents or you're looking to grow your collection, I think the Mon Paris by YSL is a definitely beautiful grab for you girls and gals and women and ladies and, you know, whoever would just like to in, um, enhance your um, fragrant collection. Again, the scent of it is just so soft, so welcoming, and it smells so good on your skin. This isn't a product that I feel that you would have to layer. I know a lot of times people talk about layering products. And I do like to buy my uh, fragrances and sets. And from time to time, you'll see me buy the lotion. If they have the lotion, um, mist and spray, anything they have to prolong the scent but with this one because this isn't a this isn't a, this is a actual perfume so you don't have to worry about it being something that will wear off this one would last you don't even have to like this is a big jar this isn't something that i would throw in my purse and carry around so this isn't something that i feel like you have to continue to refresh or freshen up on this is something that i feel like you just spray it on one time and it just smells absolutely amazing and it looks so pretty on your vanity on your desk or however you store your fragrances sometimes i have my fragrances out but with my little one a lot of times i have to put them away because sometimes he like to roll them around turn them into gi joes and things of that nature and i'm like all those toys you got you don't turn the perfume into gi joe but anyway i really like um the idea of the bow tie on the packaging it just gives the packaging more character and again looks more pretty on your vanity or makeup stand or wherever you choose to um store your um fragrances i don't think these bottles are something that you kind of want to keep stuck away and you know tucked away and things of that nature i think this is something that has enough sass to sit out and you know just really grace whatever it's sitting upon or whatever room it's actually in so definitely love the packaging the price point is relatively expensive but if you really like gorgeous scents i just think that this is one of those scents that you should probably potentially add to your collection because your scent game will be on a whole other level with the mattis the ysl mon patties so the difference between the two will be, you know, mentioned once I do my full review of the second uh, fragrance. Now, I do feel like whichever one of these fragrances that you choose, you pretty much are, and it's really, really heavy. The, and when I say it's heavy, when I purchased it, it felt like I was carrying a paperweight. I was like, wow. It's actually designed to sit on a desk. So thinking that you don't have to utilize this for anything else, once you're done with this, you can actually use it as a paperweight. So, I mean, take that in consideration. I don't really like to run through really, really, really good fragrances like these. Like I say, unless it's just like a favorite that I know I'm going to buy all the time, which because of the price, I try to use it sparingly. Now, enough about the Mon Paris. This is the Mon Paris Couture. So, although that is the Mon Paris, which I think I probably presented them. <laughs> oh, yep, I did it. I did it. So, I knew I was going to do that. So, let me see. Mon Paris perfume. Yeah. I knew I was going to do that, get them mixed up again. Mon Patties. Because it's so easy to mix them up. So, I think this black bow <laughs> goes in the silver package. I'm not for sure because... And this one's Rosebud Accord and Dolce Accord. And this one... Oh, 
Whoa. This one smells so you can smell you can smell the roses but not like your Mario Podesio type of rose smell. Like you know when you smell the Mario Podesio rose spray, it kind of has this distinctive rose scent, uh fragrance or whatever scent to the facial misting spray. This isn't that. This is a more of a yes girl type of rosy type of scent. Um it does come with the bow on the packaging as well, which looks super duper cute. I just love the packaging on this. I think it is so, so pretty. I think that if you put them side by side, <laughs> unless you look at the actual liquid in it, like this one is a darker purple than this one. This one is more clear, but they both have a tint of purple in them or yeah, like a purplish color. But they both smell phenomenal now if i had to choose this was the one that i was looking for with the rose scent this was the one i picked up initially when i went so I, even though i picked up the wrong one i fell more in love with this one than this one even though this is the one that i was actually looking for this one is the one that actually has the rosebud fragrance in it again the packaging is stunning on this this is your like the other one everyday fragrance it is the same price as the other one, so either one you pick up, you'll pretty much enjoy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're out looking for new fragrances, check out the Mon Paradis line, and I did purchase these at Ulta, and I really, really love them. I thought that they were absolutely beautiful fragrances, and together they both look stunning on your vanity so if you guys enjoy videos like these and you would like to see more fragrance videos let me know below if you've already tried out the ysl fragrances please let me know how you feel about them do you like them do you feel like they're a bit too much do you think they need to play up or down on their fragrances or whatever in my opinion i like them i think that they have their own distinctive fragrance i don't smell anything like them although they look the same they smell totally different and they're just that like i could say corporate girl style like fragrance for you so if you guys again are in the market for something like that let me know if again you've tried them out or if you've tried a sample of them because i know sometimes in scent bird you get different scents to try out so if you've already tried this in a package such as that let me know how you guys like them or let me know what fragrance that you're wearing and you enjoy that you've been trying or are currently trying out right now so i hope to bring you guys future videos like these in the future videos like these in the future so that you guys can um get an idea of what types of fragrance i'm wearing and when and for what season and usually i try to wear my fragrances seasonal but a lot of times if i'm attached to a fragrance and especially if it's my signature fragrance you'll catch me wearing all year long and like i said these are quickly becoming favorites where i'm actually actually going to every single day almost now so Maybe, again, it's a spring thing. I'm not for sure, but we'll see after spring if I'm still grabbing for it. But I absolutely love those. Again, love the packaging on them. I think they're absolutely stunning. And I think that you guys will actually enjoy them as well. So you can, again, pick these up online as well. But I did go in store and pick them up from Ulta Beauty. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you like these fragrances, give me a thumbs up and come back for the next video until next time stay beautiful and stay classy have a beautiful day bye thanks so much pearls and gems for watching this fragrance video if you haven't seen my previous video please check the description box and check it out and i'll see you guys in the very next video ciao